Mr. Abraham Kipson, good afternoon. Can you tell us what are you hoping to achieve on Sunday in the race, this London Marathon? Yeah, in my hope for this race on Sunday, I will try to run my, 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 my PP, my personal time for the marathon. I'm ready to prove my time on Sunday. You are the world record holder in the half marathon. How do you think that will help you on Sunday? Okay, although I'm a world record holder of a marathon, on, but on Sunday I'll try to run my, my race, I'll try to stay in a group, because the marathon is a marathon. There's a difference between half marathon and, and marathon, but I'll try to run my race and I'll try to a good time on Sunday. You come from a country which is rich, very rich in marathon. How difficult is it to compete against your fellow countrymen? It's one of the most competitive countries in the world over long distance. Yeah, Kenya is Kenya. We are so very tough in marathon. We are, we are now Kenya are holding the record of the marathon, uh, and we are holding the record of half marathon. So Kenya, we are competing. Many people are run so very fast in Kenya in marathons. Many guys are trained for the marathon very seriously, hard working. Do you intend to run at the? World Athletics Championships later this year in Doha. Yeah, in God willing, I, it's my prayer to be in World Championship in Doha this year. But it's but you've also got one of the toughest trials going in the world as well. Yeah, I'm ready. I am ready to be called for the trials in the world, so that I, so that I shall be elected to be this team. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the Olympic champion and the defending champion here, Eliud Kipchoge? Is a phenomenal athlete. In recent years, he's only lost one marathon race. What are your thoughts on him? Oh, uh, although Kipchoge is the, the defending champion of the World Championship, so I am there to try to run, to follow his steps, to run how to, how to keep this, this experience. Because Kipchoge is the, is the guy who has yeah, run many marathons. Still, I'm there coming. I'm still coming, coming slow, slow by step. I will be there. And I know. I'll be, I will be including the team of the World Championship. So you're determined that you're going to be in the World Championship team? Yeah, that is my focus, to be in the World Championship team. So obviously that's your focus, so once you get there, I'm guessing your next focus will be to try and snatch a medal. Oh yes, I'm ready for that. <laughs> in your downtime, what do you do? What do you do in your downtime? When you're not running, what do you do to relax? When I'm in, I'm really looking for, look, look after the animals in my, look, 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 look for some small things in my farm. I'm a farmer guy. Oh, you're a farm guy? Yeah. That's good to know. Talk to me about it. <laughs> when I'm off season, I'm looking after the animals in my farm. Yeah, they are in, around there, I know anything I'm doing in my area. I'm a farm. I have some animals, I have some, some things, some whatever, many. The farm is it just on a small scale, just to provide for your family, or is it, or is it a multi <laughs> business? No, small for the for for my family, for keeping for the, my family. And what's it like when you leave home and go away and go and train and leave the family, or do you do all your training exclusively in Kenya? I will, I will be, then I will be, I will be the coach. I will, I will, I will, I will have the to motivate another small people how to run, because because I know I love this. I will, I will try to learn other people how to, to, to train and deal to be like me. I don't think you quite got my question. I said, when you train, do you leave the family behind? Do you go abroad to train or is your training sh all strictly in Kenya, in, on the mountains, in the altitude? Altitude. When, I, when I'm, I'm training in Kenya, although my wife is a, is a runner, it's like me. So we are working, work, work up is early in the morning and training in high altitude and hilly. What does the altitude training, what does it give you? You know, now there's different, there is high altitude and low altitude. When you train in high altitude, it will be, you, you, it's, it's very dense, it's not easy to breathe. After coming the heavy, it will be easy to run. Right, so basically what you're saying is, by running in altitude, it prepares you for all sorts of conditions. Yeah. It's good for me to, pray, to, to train in the altitude and heal, heal so that I will be, I will be strong and will have that enduring. 
when you were growing up, did you have any favorite athletes you were looking up to in Kenya or anywhere else in the world? Who was your favorite athlete when you were young? Martin Lel. Pardon? Martin Lel. Martin Lel. Yeah. Wow. Yes, he's, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in he's area man. I, when I was small, when, when I was still in school, I was really hearing Wal- Walter Gatt, Martin Lel. I was really, I like to run like Walter Gatt, like Martin Lel. One last question. We've had the World Athletics Championships everywhere in the world, apart from Africa. Would you like to see it in an African country? Sorry? The World Athletics Championships. We've had it everywhere in the world. We're going to have it in Doha in October. Would you like to see it in an African country? Would you like an African country to host the World Athletics Championships? Yeah, it's my prayer to be holding one day, one time. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome.